Hello students, welcome to tutoringcluster.com. Now, this will be the uh, last part from the vehicle specification, not from the unit, but a series of vehicle specifications. So in the third part, right, in the beginning, we have talked about dimensional attributes. If you remember, let's list down the things which we have seen. So in the very beginning, we have talked about a dimensional attributes, right? Then in the next video, that means in the last video, we have talked about engine specification and as well as transmission system. Now, so this is your first part, you can say, then this is second. Now, in this video, we are going to talk about suspension system that means how suspension system is specified braking system and tire okay of course wheels or tires this is also going to play a very important role right so this is how so this we have seen in third part this is the fourth and this is the fifth one okay right so suspension system basically why suspensions are provided okay suspension ka significance can so to protect a passenger as well as to protect a goods carry obviously it should not get damaged during its transport so that's why sus suspension systems are there so there are various types of suspension systems so in detail we are going to study all these systems in unit number four so here we are only going to see which type of suspension is used in the car if you want to compare any two, right? Then braking system. Why braking systems are there? If you want to stop the vehicle or if you want to reduce the vehicle speed, then obviously brakes are applied and braking systems are used. Okay. So disc break hota hai, drum break hota hai, anti-lock braking system hai. So, we detail in unit number 4. Mein padhenge, right? Then, the last is related to tire or wheel. Okay. So, this also plays an important role. Tire, obviously, friction ho hai jab vehicle hamari move ho hai, there is friction between wheel and a ground surface. So, obviously, heat generate hota hai due to friction and your vehicle as the time passes just as the time badta hai wheels kya hota hai it gets wear out tire ka wear hota hai kya hota hai tire ka wear right so it has some life uski kuch life define ki hoti hai right of course tires hamare skid nahi hone chahiye okay it should not get skid kyunki agar अगर for example let's say आप सुनते हो कि rainy season में बाइक जो है वो skid हो गई so there are chances of accident right so your tire design is also very important right so that is also going to play a very important role while vehicle selection right okay so let us see one by one so first we will be talking about a suspension system why suspensions are provided so suspensions are provided to protect the passenger and to protect the goods. So basically the goods, it should not get damaged. Damage should be prevented. Okay. Now, so obviously you will find a suspension at the front side as well as at the rear side front side mein aur rear side mein dono taraf aapko suspension milenge so macpherson strut it is the most commonly used front suspension torsion beam time it is the most commonly used rear expansion so you can see here this is a macpherson strut okay and this is a torsion beam type right okay you can note down this in case of Honda City, the front suspension is Macpherson and rear suspension is torsion beam type. This is the most commonly used suspension in case of cars. Right. Aap say 
शॉक एब्सॉर्बर भी आपको पता होगा शॉक एब्सॉर्बर ओके बाइक्स में हम क्या बोलते हैं शॉक एब्सॉर्बर राइट ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज सो आपको यहाँ पे क्या ध्यान में रखना है वाई द सस्पेंशन सिस्टम आर प्रोवाइडेड एट वट आर दी मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज फ्रंट एंड रियर सस्पेंशन इसका स्ट्रक्चर कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग वी विल सी इन डिटेल इन यूनिट नंबर फोर ना नेक्स्ट इज अ टायर साइज सो मैंने आपको बताया वाई टायर आर इंपॉर्टेंट मैंने यहाँ पे दो पिक्चर्स बताए सो दिस इज लेट्स ए स्पोर्ट्स कार एंड लेट से दिस इज ट्रांसपोर्ट व्हीकल यू कैन से लाइट ट्रांसपोर्ट व्हीकल राइट ना ऑब्वियसली इसका पर्पज क्या है पर्पज इज डिफरेंट ऑफ बोथ द थिंग्स ओके सो बेस्ड ऑन द पर्पज इनके टायर्स भी आप अगर ऑब्जर्व करते हो दो आर डिफरेंट यस कैन यू आई होप यू कैन मेक द डिफरेंसेस आउट ऑफ दिस ओके सो टायर्स आर ऑल्सो डिफरेंट सो बेसिकली आपको ये ध्यान में रखना है कि हाउ टायर स्पेसिफिकेशन इज दी वन सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू फोर्टी फाइव स्लैश फिफ्टी फाइव डैश आर फिफ्टी नाउ दिस मीन्स दैट द टायर हैज अ विथ ऑफ टू फोर्टी फाइव एम एम सो टू फोर्टी फाइव इज वॉट इट्स अ टायर विथ विथ है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस केस वॉट इज द टायर विथ इट्स अ टू फिफ्टी फाइव नाउ द एस्पेक्ट रेशो द नेक्स्ट नंबर इज फिफ्टी फाइव इट्स अ एस्पेक्ट रेशो फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंटेज मीन्स फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंटेज ऑफ विथ इज यूज अप एज द साइड वॉल okay 55 percentage of width it is used as a side wall and what is r15 r15 basically it denotes the steel all alloy ring has a diameter of 15 inches it basically shows the diameter of ring dekho aapko aapke paas steel or ring ki see this is ring this is your ring or ye jo black color ka it's a rubber okay so r15 it's a diameter of ring 15 inches okay total width okay width kitni hai agar main yahan se dekhta hu so width will be 245 mm width right so so this is important you may expect mcq on this so please remember each number stands for what 245 it stands for tire width 55 shows the aspect ratio 55 percentage and r15 it denotes what so r it shows the steel or alloy ring and 15 it's a diameter diameter of 15 inch it's a diameter of ring remember okay right so whatever list you are preparing you can note down in case of honda city the wheel type is 15 inch alloy wheel it's a tubeless of course tubeless tire most are now the tires are tubeless the front tire 175/65 r15 okay what is 175 here it's a tire width 65 it's aspect ratio that means 65 percentage of width is used as the side wall okay side wall this is the side wall you black color me it's a side wall right and r15 again it is having a steel or alloy ring having the diameter of 15 inches and the rear tire it is same right so you can note down so this is how tire specification is given so this is very important from mcq point of view right okay now the next system we are going to say it's a braking system so why brakes are used basically so brakes if you want to stop the vehicle right and second is to reduce the speed of the vehicle to reduce the speed these are the two major function of brakes so brakes basically those are two type you are having a drum or disc brake okay the size of the brake is measured through its diameter so this is the brake system so this is a complete what it's a brake diameter this is what a brake diameter 
okay so size of the brake it is measured to what its diameter okay larger the diameter the more the stopping power you have okay remember this thing agar jitna brake bada hoga obviously power will be high so you are having a drum and a disc brake so in case of honda city the front brakes are disc type and rear brakes are drum type now we a disc brake kaise dikhta hai drum brake kaise dikhta hai right you can search on the internet because these are the parts of unit number 4 so there are disc brake drum brake ka construction dekhenge kaise work karta hai braking system so that is the part that is a separate topic okay we will cover in unit number 4 so for time being you can simply search on the internet disc brake at least aapko look pata hona chahiye kaise dikhta hai brake disc and drum brake so you can search and you can study right so this is about a braking system so why brakes are used and how the braking systems are specified right so these are the various things one should remember right while comparing any two vehicle okay so we are going to list down everything till now what things we have seen okay so vehicle specification aapko yaad kaise rakhna hai so this will this is going to help you so whenever we are going to talk of vehicle specification you can compare in three parts so first one will be specification related to dimension dimensional attributes then the second part will be related to engine engine specification plus transmission transmission system whether it's a manual automatic right and the third will be other specification we will see what included in it like suspension braking and tire so in case of dimensional we will be talking about length width and height the second will be ground clearance third will be wheel base then fourth will be turning radius right then you are having a boot space and the sixth one will be curb bed right so we have seen each terminology is significance of it right then when we talk of engine specification you have to talk about uh, okay type of fuel used then second type of engine whether it's uh, air or water cooled four stroke or two stroke third is number of cylinder then number of volts then displacement this is very important which is expressed in cc then maximum power and torque okay so power it is expressed in bhp and torque it is in newton meter then transmission system type of transmission transmission type you can say and the last one is drive train drive train mein kya hota hai whether it's a four wheel drive or two wheel drive or front wheel drive right okay then in the third thing that is the other specification we will be talk about a uh, suspension use suspension system or suspension systems okay suspension type we bol sakte ho second we will be talking about a tire or wheel specification of it and the third one will be a braking system used apart from this 
there are some extra features also like abs airbags or kuch safety features bhi hai okay so these are the overall things if you want to compare any two vehicles so you can compare based on this attributes okay so this you can take this screenshot of this if you want you can pause the video or you can note down all those things so these are very important points we have discussed right so hope you have understood if you want to compare any two vehicle which parameters we are going to consider so we are going to consider dimensional attributes engine specification as well as the transmission system use and other specification like suspension tires kaun se use kiye braking brakes kaun se use kiye hue hai right so these are all important parameter one should consider while comparing any two bike or car and you can choose the best vehicle for your purpose so hope you have understood the part number 3 part number 3 4 and 5 and hope whenever you will go to purchase a bike or a car in the future at least you will try to find the answers of these parameters at least you will try to get the values of these parameters and hope you can compare any two bike or any two car based on this parameters attributes and of course don't forget to read different customer reviews you should not depend on customer reviews but at least you can go through those customer reviews that can be a marketing point of view marketing strategy can be there that ki sab acche review likhe hue hai right but at least you can go through the customer reviews once kuch genuine customers bhi hote hain jo proper aapko reviews bike ya fir mobile whatever it is right so this is uh, overall the motto you can say or objective of this unit that in future or whenever you will go to purchase anything it can be a mobile or it can be any electronic unit or it can be vehicle car so at least you should go through a technical specification of it you should understand all the technical specification and then you can choose a best product for you right so you can note down all these things so hope all the things are clear to you so in the next video now we will be talking about electric vehicles right so same thing you can apply for bikes also right you can search or i will try to post in the telegram channel that how the bike specification is given parameters yahi rahenge wahan pe bhi engine hai राइट सस्पेंशन सिस्टम है ब्रेकिंग सिस्टम है ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम है पैरामीटर्स यही रहेंगे सिर्फ टाइप्स चेंज होंगे राइट सो आपको एक लिस्ट मिल गई होगी मैंने आपको फर्स्ट लेक्चर में बताया था राइट कि आपको एक लिस्ट बनानी है फ्रॉम डायमेंशनल एट्रीब्यूट्स देन इंजन एट्रीब्यूट्स एंड अदर स्पेसिफिकेशन राइट सो थैंक यू एवरी वन वी विल मीट विद द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वेरी सुन टिल देन यू कैन हिट द नोटिफिकेशन बेल सब्सक्राइब द यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब टिल एट right it motivates me and if you are liking my videos please do write in the comment box you can join us on telegram where we have started the mcq series also so it is going to be very helpful for you thank you everyone